Hey guys, Dino here. Um, happy Easter. It's Good Friday here in New Zealand. Um, what I thought I might do is a very quick video update on my electric um, brewing system. Um, just run through all the different bits and pieces and um, just show you the most uh, recent modification that I've made. So I'll swing the camera around and we'll uh, get into it. Okay, we'll uh, start at the beginning. Sorry guys if you've seen uh, most of this before. Um, so the, the basis of the electric brewing system is this T500 um, uh, boiler with a 2 kilowatt element in the bottom. And it has a max capacity of 25 litres and 28 litres to the brim. Uh, the only major change I've made to the boiler itself is I swapped out the original tap for a ball valve and then on the back I've um, put in a 6 inch uh, bazooka screen just to filter out any grain matter and, and hot trub etc. And then the next thing I, or the next change that I made was I added a um, a little DC brushless um, pump. Um, it's rated between 6 and 12 volts. And um, yeah, this, this is just inside a uh, casing just to tidy it up a bit. So yeah, the, the liquid comes out of the, the tap here through the pump and then back through the hose and then back into the top of the boiler for recirculation. Um, the next part I'll show you is uh, this is a little stainless steel um, rack which fits into the bottom and it just fits nicely, sits nicely over the top of the bazooka screen and the reason for that is um, I put my grain basket inside and it just sits on the rack so it doesn't squash or sit on top of the bazooka screen. So yeah, so this is the grain basket. It holds between sort of four and a half, maybe five kilos of grain. I haven't taken it up that high, uh, mainly because I'm doing small batches. Um, so yeah, it's a stainless steel, or was it was a bucket, which I've converted into a grain basket and drilled tons of holes in the bottom. Uh, originally I was using a grain bag, but I have replaced that with a mesh false bottom so that just sits in like so and just replaces the need for the grain bag so yeah the grain goes in there and then to lower the grain basket to the boiler yep so the grain basket goes in like so take the handle off um, while we're mashing etc. So yeah that's um, that's the grain basket inside with the false bottom. So yeah while I'm doing the mash I'll recirculate over the top. Sorry about that guys just had to put the camera down for a second. Um, so yeah this is the the latest mod. Um, so this is um, I think it's what's called a sparge ring. Um, you can have like a rotating arm, but I saw a few people make these sparge rings up, so I thought I'd give it a bash. So previously I just had the plastic hose sort of going uh, and sitting on top of this, um, another sieve that was on top of the grain, um, in, the, in the grain basket there. Um, but I wanted to get rid of um, that extra sieve and not have the hose sort of sitting on top. So yeah, so I've got a length of copper. Um, and I've just um, bent it into a nice nice circle shape, uh, crimped it, or cut it and crimped it at one end and then I've drilled, I don't know, something like about 18 to 20 holes in here and hopefully that will just um, more evenly uh, disperse the return liquid. So yeah, let's, let's turn, turn the tap on and turn the Turn the pump on. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it seems to work um, well in theory.
So yeah, that's uh, that's the latest mod. Haven't used it for the proper brew yet, so I'm looking forward to that. And it's easy to um, just unclip here and, and take the uh, the sparge ring off the top of the boiler when I need to um, pull the grain basket out. So yeah, I'll finally I'll just show you um, what I do with the grain basket when I've finished uh, mashing. Okay, so I've just lifted the grain basket out. I just used the handle that I used to lower it in to lift it out again. Uh, placed it on top of this cake rack. And then I can easily um, attach the sparge ring to the, the basket. Just unclip it from the boiler, plug it or clip it straight onto the, um, the grain basket here. And now I can um, use that for when I'm doing my sparge. I'll just attach this end of the hose and put it into my sparge or connect it to my sparge water and then once again I can just turn on the pump and that can be the, uh, the sparge in action. So yeah, so it just flips over from the circulation to um, being used for the sparge. So, so yeah, that's it guys. That's pretty much everything um, I can think to show you. If you've got any questions, um, yeah, just sing out. Um, cheers guys, we will catch you next time.